Hi friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we are going to see about bacterial growth curve. Before seeing what is bacterial growth curve, we are going to see what is growth. The term growth usually refers to the irreversible increase of an organism size over time. But in microbiology, the term growth usually refers to change in the total population rather than an increase in the size or mass of an individual organism. So for microbiologist, growth means increase or change in the total population. The most common means of bacterial reproduction is binary fission. Binary fission means one cell divides producing two cells and it goes on. So the increase in bacterial population is by geometric progression. Up to this we learnt what is growth, what is bacterial growth and the most common means of bacterial reproduction. Next we are going to see about the bacterial growth curve. Bacterial growth curve is a graphic representation of the growth of bacteria in a culture medium. We know that growth means population changes. Assume that a bacterium is inoculated into a flask of suitable liquid culture medium and incubated under appropriate conditions. The bacterium will undergo binary fission and its growth follows a definite course. If bacterial counts are made at intervals after inoculation and plotted in relation to time, we would obtain the curve which is known as bacterial growth curve. Here you should note one important point that is we are not going to inoculate a single bacterium. We know that the inoculum usually contains thousands of bacteria. So the term growth denotes the increase in number beyond that present in the original inoculum. Next we are going to see about the phases of growth curve. The growth curve shows the following phases. The lag phase, the log phase or the logarithmic phase or exponential phase, the stationary phase and the phase of decline or death. Let's see what is lag phase. After the addition of inoculum to a new medium, the lag phase is the initial phase of the growth curve. The number of cells does not change during the lag phase because the cells are adjusting to a new environment. The individual cells increase in size. Physiologically, the cells are very active and are synthesizing new protoplasm. That is, necessary enzymes and metabolic intermediates are built up in adequate quantities for multiplication to proceed. The duration of the lag phase varies with the species, size of inoculum, nature of culture medium, etc. Next, we are going to see about the log phase or logarithmic phase or exponential phase. Following the lag phase, the cells start dividing and their numbers increase exponentially or by geometric progression with time. The log of the number of cells plotted against time, a straight line will be obtained. In log phase, the population is most nearly uniform in terms of chemical composition of cells, metabolic activity and other physiological characteristics. Next, we are going to see about the stationary phase. After several hours, certain factors contribute to a slowing of the growth rate. The log phase of growth begins to taper off in a gradual fashion represented by a transition from a straight line through a curve to another straight line. This phase is called as the stationary phase. 
in the stationary phase the rate of bacterial cell growth is equal to the rate of bacterial cell death factors that contribute to a slowing of the growth rate are depletion of nutrients accumulation of toxic products gradual depletion of oxygen etc next phases the phase of decline or death during the death phase the number of viable cells decreases exponentially it seems to be like the inverse of growth during the log phase the unfavorable conditions slows and finally stops population growth bacteria die at different rate that is some species die very rapidly and some die so slowly in this phase the population decreases due to the death of cells if you observe the growth curve you can also find a curved portion between each of these phases that is known as a transition period this represents the time required before all cells enter the new phase up to this we learnt the different phases of the growth curve next we are going to see the importance of bacterial growth curve from this growth curve study it must be understood that during some phases of growth the cells are young and actively metabolizing why during other phases they are dying so that there may be enormous structural and physiological differences between cells harvested at different times let's see what are all the structural and physiological differences between cells harvested at different phases of growth curve towards the end of the lag phase bacterial cells become larger in size and physiologically these cells are very active yes we know the reason that these cells are preparing themselves for binary fission or cell division log phase the cells are smaller and stains uniformly cells in the logarithmic phase of growth are the most uniform and in defined conditions log phase cultures are commonly used for studies of microbial metabolism stationary phase in the stationary phase cells are smaller than log phase cells and are gram variable and shows irregular staining due to the presence of intracellular storage granules in endospore forming bacteria sporulation occurs at this phase sporulation usually occurs in gram positive bacteria example bacillus we know that endospores are formed in response to unfavorable growth conditions in the bacterial environment in the stationary phase many bacteria produce secondary metabolic products such as exotoxins and antibiotics mutation can occur during stationary phase due to dna damages or starving thus the study of bacterial growth curve is important from both a commercial and research point of view up to this we learned what is growth curve what are the different phases of growth curve and what are the structural and physiological differences between cells harvested at different phases of growth curve and importance of growth curve i'm concluding this video here and see you soon in my next video thank you friends